planning to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond. Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personnel who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities, and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479-980. 8483-340-9400 or 635-9906. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. This week, we take you back to the IEC nomination process and we look forward to the campaign period which has just started in the 2021 elections. December 4th, of course, Gambia will decide who will run the country's affairs 
for the next five years. Already parties have started uh, departing for their nationwide campaign. We will also discuss, of course, how do we think the process have gone so far. And with me in the studio to do that is uh, Amadou Ka, who is the Deputy President of the Gambia Democratic Congress. Nyangjai, of course, commentator on Gambian Affairs. I think that to, to make it short, let me look, just do that. Um, I'm pleased to say we have in our midst uh, Gambian journalist Lamin Jaiti, who has been based in the United Kingdom the last 12 years or so. He's on holiday and have definitely been watching and commentating on the process so far. He will give us his perspective. John Charles Jai, he is the <clears throat> chairman of Tango, that is the non-government organization, the umbrella organization for NGOs in the Gambia. Very much involved uh, in the electoral process as head of the civic society organization. He will be here to tell us uh, how, uh, according to their um, perspectives, that is the civic society, how they have been seeing the process and what are the ups and downs, if there is any, he will be giving us that. So welcome, gentlemen. I start with Lamin Jaita, our, our friend from London. Lamin, welcome. Thank you. Lamin from Badipusal, Kenya. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 that's the last place I would wish to come from. Nyanjai, the man who doesn't have names, but two surnames. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much. Mr. Ka, welcome. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chap. Thank you so much. And Mr. Njai, welcome. Thank you. Lamin. All right, let me begin with uh, uh, Lamin. Welcome to the Gambia. Well, you came, you know, uh, and found a storm. You found that. Uh, 23 candidates all aspiring to become presidential candidates but only six so many were called but only six were able to pass the scrutiny of the iec you were at election house i guess for much of that uh, process what has been your take home well first of all you mentioned um a storm i think um it's, it's, an, it's an exciting one mm -hmm. as far as we the media people are concerned because the, the bigger the storm, the better for us, because we'll find a lot of stories. <laughs> and 23 to 6, I think it's been unpre unprecedented. And the media coverage I should start with, because that's what I'm very much familiar with, is that um, uh, it's not been done before in terms of, you know, the kind of coverage that um, was given in, in this kind of um, aspects of reporting for elections in the Gambia, which I say bravo to each and every media house that were there and from the bigger ones to the um, less um, big ones. ones, yeah, to the smaller ones. And it was good in a sense that um, there is, you know, wider coverage and, of course, variety, you know, of, of you know, media outlets with different kind of news values mm -hmm. that were there. Mm -hmm. uh, what thing I took from there is that um, at first the IEC, you know, I think there was some chaos in, in relation to the organization of the media pen. But later on, that was um, rectified at some point, and which I think is good. And I saw quite a number of young journalists and veteran mm -hmm. journalists there also going around getting the stories. I think there's much, there's been much improvement from the last time I covered elections in the Gambia. Apart from the set, the setup that you shared, the arrangement of media and the IEC themselves. Cause did, what about the process itself? Uh, you know, after we had that six, only six, were able to cross their scrutiny. You know. Okay. And there have been uh, appeals and rejections. Yes, of course. They would be very disappointed, those who have been um, rejected. But I think uh, disappointed to see some of these aspirants not fulfilling the criteria that IEC has put in place, about 12 mm -hmm. in number. 15, uh, actually. 12, that was the basic one that IEC was looking for. Ah. For them to be able oh, to. Oh, the 12 it. items. Yes, I told the, you to the, a number of rejections. No, nah, nah, the 12 items yeah. that um, they were looking for uh, aspirants to be able to fulfill. I think they set the bar to a minimum level, mm -hmm. which I think is good for our democracy. You think it was not very difficult? Yeah, it's, it wasn't difficult, but there are times when when you look at the number of you know, elements in there, how would you verify some, some of those things? Um, say, for instance, your dual citizenship kind of situation, mm -hmm. how would they be able to verify that? That is something that, you know, would be challenging legal-wise. Because okay. who else would you be contacting if you contact a foreign government you to ask... You mean if a man claims he is not holding another nationality? Yes. You mean how the IEC would be able to determine that? Yes. Correct. Yes. 
Could, would it that would be, be a challenge for? because if you contact a foreign embassy and ask, can you find out for me if Cham is a citizen, they will tell you this is, we don't comment we, on individuals. We don't comment on individuals. Right. Yeah. And it, it's going to be a challenge for them to be able to do that. But again, um, I think they also put in their rules deliberately to make it possible for a lot more people to take part. Okay. But also, um, for the challenge, for as far as the IAEC is concerned, the way I read it is that they just want the laws, the legal system to be able to take over the rest if anybody has a claim mm -hmm. or onto any kind of um, mistreatment and so on. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, they made it that simple. I think it was good. It can be improved. Mm -hmm. The only disappointment I, disappointment I have is this public scrutiny. Yes, I was going to I think, that. Um, if you ask me one word, fast, mm -hmm. that's what I can describe it. <laughs> because how can you um, assess uh, 23 candidates' um, documentation, some come with um, big boxes of, I mean, materials yeah. for you to look at. Five minutes for each. One min five minutes will not be suffice for President Barrow, for instance, or Hussein Udabo. Mm -hmm. How do you expect, you know, individual citizens to come? If 5,000 people come up to the IEC that day and say they're going to um, assess those documents, how will they be able to do that? Mm -hmm. the, the, the IEC argued that uh, uh, they expect a lot of people, and how could you imagine all of those people to have an opportunity if you just leave them in the hall for as long as four hours. But, you know, why physically asking people to come and check? Put that on the IAC website. So, yeah. Put it up, put up it there. The website, it's yeah. public scrutiny. Yeah. There's nothing to hide. It's a public office. Yeah. You know, put it out there, IAC website, and let every, every citizen who is interested in yeah. doing that will do that. Okay. You know, that can be done. If Imagine um, 20,000 people turn up on that day. Will they be able to do that? Mm -hmm. That was going to be a challenge for the IEC to be able to do that. So that's something I think you know they've learned. They will learn from it, mm -hmm. and of course um, we demand next time let it be better. Good. And what are your impressions of the six that have been declared? Uh, uh, I mean, do you think from the beginning you would expect those six to be in the? Yes, I expected a few more that have been actually rejected. But I was actually surprised to see the likes of Isma Dr. Ismaila being dropped. Mm -hmm. Um, but also when I looked deep into the reasons for it, mm -hmm. uh, Banjul was al always going to be a tricky, tricky one for mm -hmm. some of these candidates to be able to pull off the requirement. Like, like there's not many voters there? Or? The number is small, but also um, the way dynamics of Banjul is, is quite different from by dynamics in, in, for instance, in Kiang or in Jara and so on. Mm -hmm. And also IEC have their database where they will be able to put these numbers in, the voters card numbers in and punch it out. Mm -hmm. Perhaps experience, you know, they will learn from that experience because if they require 200, you put in 240, mm -hmm. then that means that um, your marginal, uh, your margin of error there, you will not give me much allowance to that. Mm -hmm. So probably they will learn from that next time they, you know, provide 600 or 700 out of there. But again, the requirement for political parties to put in um, voters cards of people who are in a certain uh, locality to be able to endorse your candidature mm -hmm. I think it's difficult for the IEC to be able to thoroughly verify those I can have a political party I come to John to Nyang and Nyang will endorse me mm -hmm. and then he also will come to the same people to endorse so now it's like I am one person and I'm endorsing three political parties yeah, okay, that, we will come to that. So that, that, that those is, were the technicalities. Yes. The IEC uh, disqualified some uh, parties, according to one at least at a press conference. He said, in the case where the same people endorsed uh, different parties, they said the first that came was the one considered. That's what that, that one claimed. We will have clarification. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you were disappointed with this, like some of the CS. And what about the GMC? Yes, my, my party. You know, he's been uh, um, well, a veteran in this um, political scene in the Gambia. Uh, they should know better what to do. Mm. And I think um, seeing my uh, at midnight at the IEC or doing Facebook Live um, is hilarious, as far as you <laughs> ask me. <laughs> but also, um, it tells me how much of a PR team is behind him. Mm. Um, that was not necessary, if you ask me. Um, and later on, a few days later, IEC made it clear that it was not supposed to be that midnight. So was he thorough with his details? That is something that, exactly as far as I'm point. concerned, a media person, I would like to ask what happened. Were you not aware of this? 
why do you need to do that? Good. Exactly my point. For me, I thought that the disqualification has injured the pride of some of these parties. Given it's a reality check for some of them. Yeah. And also for the electorates. To, well, I don't have a voter's card. So for, for the electorates, <laughs> is it, you will be able to see, you know, this is a, a, a point to scrutinize uh, your political your aspirants. Okay. Um, if somebody is vying for a presidency, you should be thorough with detail. Mm -hmm. If you're not thorough with those basic details, what makes you to think that I'm going to give you my vote? Because, you know, if you are president in the middle of the night, if something comes up, you should be able to have a team that will help you with that. And you want to go with that team to state house, mm -hmm. and the team mess up, if mm -hmm. I can call it that way. Yeah. And I don't have confidence in any politician or political party who's not able to provide those basic details mm -hmm. from the onset. Because if you forgive at that point, something bigger uh, that may be damaging to the, the country at, at large may happen. So I, I'm quite disappointed in some of them not being able to fulfill this. But they have their own uh, party internal structures. Maybe they need to look at that properly. Good. Nyang, you definitely always have uh, uh, an eagle's eye on, on everything. And I'm sure the nomination process did not escape your sharp you know eyes uh, what did you take home from the process so far from the, from the process so far? well thank you so much mm -hmm. i believe the gambia is evolving mm -hmm. our expectations are higher than the actual outcomes we have witnessed mm -hmm. but i think it is also high time we have serious electoral reforms mm -hmm. electoral reforms in the sense that we want a democratic plurality as it relates to our political space. Mm -hmm. The more, the merrier. Mm -hmm. But the more, the merrier comes with attendant logistic issues that the law should cater for, the policy and procedures of the, admin, you know, the election body, IEC, should also cater for. Public scrutiny basically is enforcing transparency, and participation by the general public. If that's the reason and the outcome that the IEC wants, why are they not allowing these documents to be online, giving them a wider audience and availing Gambians in and out of the country to have access? That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, prior asset declarations should also be put out there in the public space because you need a benchmark where am i starting from a reference point case in point i think it would have been proper for the iec to put online the 2016 asset declaration of all the candidates not only president barrow all the candidates mm -hmm. So that if we happen to have a document for 2021, we can do a thorough scrutiny. If not, they are just doing this as an exercise to fulfill what they think mm -hmm. is making our democratic space plural, what's making our democratic space transparent, but they're not doing it for the very reason why public scrutiny was put in place. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two. I am very happy as a Gambian that Gambians are taking it upon themselves to partake in the political process. But in as much as I am happy, I am troubled. Mm -hmm. Troubled by the morality of people who want to get into the political space, and I will tell you why. Mm -hmm. If I believe that President Barrow is doing a good job, I will not want to run against him. Mm -hmm. I will support his candidacy. Mm -hmm. So most of the people who were running, they were not disgruntled, but they believe mm -hmm. Gambia can be managed better than it is being managed under President yeah. Barrow. Mm -hmm. They wanted to throw their hat in the race mm -hmm. so that they can come up with an alternative better than the current dispensation. Mm -hmm. So if that being the case, it baffles me how they can have a 360 degree change to say that this was wrong and that's why I never wanted to condone, support or endorse. Mm -hmm. Now it is right. It is coming and stating a problem that is not only for the candidates but 
the Gambian psyche across the board. You're thinking directly, you exactly you're thinking about those who actually started as opposition, you know, aspirants now joining the NPP. I, 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 I exactly. hate the word opposition. Oh, well, well. Op no, I, <laughs> where, where know, else can those with a divergence. Well, that's your opposition. No, 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 okay. no. no. You know, in Gambia, in the Gambian context, the word opposition has been bastardized. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, <laughs> it's seen as mm -hmm. the way it is. As, it has been portrayed since '65 to yeah, date. It's taboo Yosuma like it. Wow. Well, so you're some you pinga guy. Wow. You're some pernya guy. It's never. <laughs> I know. In a positive light. So yes. I, I, I so don't you want to okay. use the word. It's a danger word. But I have noticed <laughs> one thing during this political season that the Gambian psyche is sick. And the Gambian psyche needs redemption and salvation. Why? Conviction and courage of conviction plus conscience is very deficient in the Gambian. Our beliefs oftentimes are not driven by conviction but are driven by narrowly defined personal interests. And this is hampering the collective development of our society because politics is to impact the greater good's interests. Whether it's the opposition or the people who are in power, their actions should always impact, come up with results that will impact the greater good's interests. But what we have seen, like my Wolofs of old will say, Segal Mawarla, bend down, let me ride on you. That's not the way politics should be. But it is that way because the Gambian psyche across the board, irrespective of economic um, divide, be it middle class, upper, the lowest of the low, there is one thing. We lack the conviction to be true to our conscience, but we are very loyal to our narrowly defined interests. And these narrowly defined interests are hampering our strides collectively as a nation to do what's best for the country. And it should change, but it should change first with having a civic education inculcated into our school systems from kindergarten. I think someone before you leave reception three, you should be able to read, you should be able to sing the national anthem, at least have a basic understanding of what the national anthem is and why you are a Gambian. Mm. Then by the time you reach primary three to six, your identity mm. as a Gambian what has been firmed yeah. and deeply rooted. If we do that, we will not only kill tribalism, yeah. we will start building a nation state with a national identity. Mm -hmm. And the lack of a national identity is making this country suffer because our political discourse has been polarized on issues that's not making any impact on the greater good's bottom line. Right. Good. Um, I was naturally coming to come to Mr. Carr, but since you are, are a stakeholder, <laughs> and I want you to come as a, as, as, as a stakeholder, then I jump to Mr. I'm looking for independent perspective first. I don't, I, I don't expect you to be independent. Yes. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jai, that's the chairman of Tango. Um, you have been involved from the whole entire conception of some of these things up to the process, watching uh, as, a, as, as a non-partisan, impartial observer. Um, what are your take-homes from all the process so far? Uh, well, uh, thank, thank you once you. again for having me. Let me quickly address uh, something Mr. Njai said. Uh, if you look at all the aspirants that came in, they all came and like they came with an agenda. So all those that have moved from independence to endorsing and alliances and things like that, I think it also begs the question, did they really mean what they came to do? Because once you start, stand on your own, there are parties that were already in existence. And not only the, the, the NPP or the ruling government, but there were parties that were in existence. You decided not to join them, but you came on the, the scene and decided also now to stand. And when things did not go well, you decided to align. That also, for me, throws a lot of uh, question to the credibility. There are some candidates that we need to look at this process very seriously. I think people are making mockery of the presidency. 
Some candidates knew that they were not qualified for one reason or the other. They went around, they raised funds for their campaigns, and after, just at the end of the day, to say, well, you know, I, I, I am a dual citizen. But you knew you were a dual citizen. You knew that possibly you have not um, uh, regularized that aspect. You've gone around and raised money, and now when you are disqualified, you are now coming with excuses. The other thing is, we need to revisit, like he rightly said, our electoral process. I think we've given IEC too much of a leeway. And it's okay because they are referees, we need to support them. But going forward, our whole electoral system needs to be uh, overhauled. The, 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 the issue of having nominations in these days of technology, people going to the IEC to file nominations, I think we should go past that. Nominations could be done online. When you do it online, there is a paper trail to be able to know exactly what has been submitted. So at the end of the day, let me give you an example. CA is saying they have given out um, the, the required number of uh, signatures. How can we verify that? When CA submits their documents, IEC at that point will not go through every document to say CA has handed 10 sheets of paper for Banjul. So what if one sheet of paper got missing between when IEC collected it and when they started counting? There is no way of verifying. Like he said, there is no, I don't know which candidate said that uh, maybe there are duplications of whatever. There is no law against that. There is no law against people uh, endorsing 10, signing for 10 different candidates. But the IEC said the first No, 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 no. I know. There is no law. IEC has well, not, not said that. Uh, uh, Mr. Yai. Yeah. I have been with the IEC. Okay, let, let me complete And there is no way, there is no law that stops me from signing for 10 candidates. And going forward, these are the things that we need to look at so that we can also put a check on the number of people coming on the, on the scene. There is no law. So anybody that says that, number one, how is IEC going to verify how many people have signed. In fact, IEC has no way of even verifying whether signatures are authentic. So how would they have come to conclude? This, this is what Mr. Yai said. The boxes. And this is why we need to do advocacy going forward for IEC to improve upon their sig let systems me, let by let making use of let technology. Let me tell you one Papa Yai said at his press conference. Hey, Papa Fav, mm. independent candidate, yeah. independent aspirant who was rejected. He mm. said, his nominations were rejected on technical grounds. Mm. The IEC only accepts names that have endorsed different parties. The first pa party or candidate to submit those ones are the ones they count. What? No. That's, that was no, but Mr. Chan, Mr. Chan, that, that's Mr. Chan yes. in all fairness, I want to address that, but I will go back first mm. and talk about what he was saying about people wanting to run. Mm. There is a new trend that's happening in the Gambia, and I call it political entrepreneurship. Yeah, you, you, you said it before, yeah. Political <laughs> entrepreneurship, mm. whereby people invest into politics to expect a return mm. out of politics. Mm. What do I mean by that? Mm. In 2016, they have seen it work. Yeah. And what happened in 2016 yeah. has now resulted to people being vice presidents in this country. Yeah. Mm. Not once, not twice. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So you invest and you get a return. Mm. And now people have mastered the craft mm. of political entrepreneurship yeah. and is taking root in this country. Yeah. Now, the referee doesn't set the rules of the game. Mm -hmm. It's we the people mm -hmm. who set the rules of the game. The IEC is here to be an umpire of a game that we define what the parameters are. When I say we, our legislature, mm -hmm. because they represent us. Yeah. So now it's up to you, me, to come up with an electoral reform process. Mm -hmm. This electoral reform process must be premised on three things. Equity, transparency, and you know participation. These three things should be what our electoral process should be all about. Equity meaning fair play.
it's very important, then the game is fair. Okay. Transparency, making sure that everything is done above board. Yeah. And right now, it's like IEC is running a secret society. <laughs> secret society in the sense that if Adam Obaro, for example, wants to be the president of the republic and so chooses to file an asset declaration, that asset declaration must be public knowledge without even us wanting to ask. Those who live under the tree may not mind the leaves. The moment you choose to be a public servant, you're a public property. So IEC must not help anybody mislead us, the voters, because we need informed decisions to make an informed choice. Okay. And right now, IEC's, their actions are hampering my ability to make an informed choice, thereby being part of the problem, not my solution. So I want a referee who's going to help me decide whether the game is fair or not. And for me, I want to see every play and replay, and even if there is a VAR, I want to see it. And the IEC must accord that opportunity to all of us. You, yes, you were, you were saying that uh, there is no law which says that you cannot endorse authentication, support the nomination of yeah. one or more. Yeah. Um, I mean... <laughs> I have heard the IEC say that over many um, engagements we have had with them. And uh, so anybody that says that, I think that's uh, misinformation. Because, uh, in fact, I, I, in my um, honest opinion, IEC needs to improve upon its uh, scrutiny of these documents, like I said. And like he rightly, Mr. Njai rightly said, uh, we must have legal reforms. One of the things that IEC will tell you that the assets could be declared, but not, um, no, no, they could be declared, but not um, broadcast, not made public. You know, so if we, the only way you check this is by having the law state that the assets must be declared and made public. So if it's there as law, if not, IEC will hide behind the thing that, well, the law doesn't say we have to publicize. You know, they could take, they could have the discretion to do that in the name of transparency and say, look, this is democracy. But if they want to also hide under the, 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 the fact that the law doesn't spell out disclosure, then, then we are in trouble. And, and again, again, I think there is a little improvement, mm -hmm. but it needs further improvement. Our nomination process has to start a lot, a, lot, um, a, a lot earlier than it is, so that you give people more time to do proper scrutiny. For instance, you have four hours to now to, to scrutinize and then to complain of, I mean, to, to object to a nomination. That is not sufficient. If you declare that Lamin Cham has ABC property, and I know Lamin Cham has properties elsewhere, how much time do I have to go and do that investigation, check out what he has declared and what he has? So this, we must start the process long before this, and this must be factored in our reforms. In relation to disclose a part of it, because yes, there is no law according to what you said. I'm not very familiar with that. Even if there were um, something in place to say that you cannot disclose because of privacy issues and so on, I think the citizens or even the media people can try and use a public interest argument against it. Because if you, even if you go to court and you're you know, told that you're breaking any law of privacy laws for disclosing someone's asset, who wants to be a public servant, you, know, you can use a public interest argument against it and get away with it. I think uh, that's what I think most of my colleagues in the media have used. And, and I think it was a good, strong footing. Yeah. But again, uh, like Nyang was saying, um, political entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. <laughs> <laughs> I think it starts with the individual, um, our, our, our information that the citizens have. Um, I think is, is, is lacking in relation to what we think our role is as citizens of this country. Education, you mentioned. Uh, we need to start from ourselves first. Um, if someone comes to me and say, oh, I'm, I'm against party A or party B, all of a sudden uh, my nomination didn't go through and I want to go and join the person, it's the electorate now who will have to scrutinize that individual, reject them as they are. But unfortunately, we don't. We have no <laughs> now, uh, uh, don't think, like you said, somebody said, the electoral process, there should be a law which, uh, for example, extends the 
process, the nomination process yeah. to the scrutiny. Yeah. Like for example, if the elections were to be held in this case in December, nominations were held in September. So that yeah. there is October and November for people to yes. be able to scrutinize yeah. All the distinct and even challenge if there are, uh, you know, reasons. But then you nominate somebody, and you know, only two days it took for you to. I think this will change the. They, they, they yeah, should call it public scrutiny. It should be yeah. called yeah. public yeah. perusal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. If you remember in the past, yeah. when when the when the nomination papers are submitted, is there and then? Yeah. IEC does the verification. The verification. How how um, efficient they were in doing that. And within the short space of time that you came to submit, yeah. they will tell you, okay, right. you, are, you are endorsed. So they are trying to improve, but again, I think their improvement, they, they have legal um, time constraint. Yeah. Like you're saying, but you see, this is where we need to blame ourselves. Ourselves, I mean, our legal representatives. There is an electoral reform bill, yeah. electoral reform bill at the parliament. And uh, somehow it has not been given priority. So we, we need to, but it even maybe it's a blessing in disguise because I'm sure where we are with that bill and the things in that bill, there needs to be a lot of improvement taking into consideration what we are learning from this yeah, experience. Cross-cutting and multi-sectoral. Mm -hmm. We cannot, and this is what public policy in Gambia needs to factor. Mm -hmm. In Gambia, we have what you call the silo mentality. Mm -hmm. Each sector walks in a silo yeah. to resolve issues mm -hmm. rather than having a cross-sectoral approach. That's why I say that in the Gambia, we're good of having islands of excellence instead of an ocean of excellence. So what needs to happen is simple. When we're talking about electoral laws, mm -hmm. it's also affecting Freedom of Information Act. Mm -hmm. So we need to look at a holistic approach yeah. of what participatory governance and participatory democracy entails. Mm -hmm. Because we're talking about our freedoms. Mm -hmm. Look at that day, crowd control, when people were stopped to crossing a line. Mm -hmm. Was there a clear and present danger to justify that thing that could have erupted to be a public riot? Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to come up with laws mm -hmm. that will not only focus on the microscope on the issue that mm -hmm. we are raising here, yeah. but a holistic approach and I will tell you one thing that came up and that's very important Mr. Chan. Public scrutiny. Mm -hmm. People have put up assets and if you look at the timeline on those assets mm -hmm. they are highly questionable whether the timeline I'm not talking about whether the assets are real or not mm -hmm. but the timeline of acquisition. Mm -hmm. So four hours cannot do that. So yeah, what sir. needs to happen mm -hmm. is a time frame mm -hmm. of six weeks that will allow Nyangyai to go all the way to Dakar and exactly. verify whether X, Y, or Z doesn't have any economic interest there. Interest. Yeah. Yeah. For me also to go from Katong to Koina, Kung to Amdalai to see whether they don't have an economic interest. Good. Then we will do justice to yeah. that. If not, we're just trying to do an exercise and mm. we don't want this to be an exercise. Mm. We want it to be a mainstay and a reality in enforcing our democratic principles. Now, time to go to uh, the man who it matters most than all of us. Uh, that is the Deputy President of the Gambia Democratic Congress, uh, Mr. Amadou uh, Ka. Now, um, let me begin by telling you, as a political party, uh, of course, congratulations, your candidates uh, have passed the scrutiny. <laughs> Good. How did you observe the whole process? Did you have any reservations? or commendations or satisfaction over the issue of the whole entire process nomination to the final announcement of the successful uh, aspirants. Um, thank you very much. Um, I will just pick it up from some of the comments that I've already heard. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, personally, it has been my position mm -hmm. um, that uh, and, 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 and I've been a concern to me mm -hmm. about um, our processes, especially nomination. Mm -hmm. Um, just like point you, you touched on, just last week I told somebody that if I had a very, you know, if, if I had an impact mm -hmm. into what the nomination should be like, mm -hmm. then the first thing that I would discourage is the way we do it. Mm -hmm. Where the, because at that level alone, mm -hmm. discourages fair play. Because mm -hmm. then probably 
from even the electorates at a nomination level, they already have started, you know, disadvantaging some of the some of the some of the political parties or contestants. Mm -hmm. And then you will see a lot of the electorates will start to say yes. Now the race is between A, B, C, or D, uh -huh. because they were able to amass a lot of crowds and all of that. Oh, and then okay. also some of the other challenges that or that some of the other you know issues that it might bring in the future is like. Um, it put a lot of pressure on political parties when it comes to their financing activities. Mm. And this is where probably political parties can open to even investors oh. who, might, who might even show you that they're... Yes, <laughs> the entrepreneurship parties. The entrepreneurship that I was talking about. And then like um, at the end of the day, you know, it, it kind of like press on political parties to try to amass wealth or lobby for funds here and there. And all of this, at the end of the day, would be a challenge to whatever government that we have in place. Mm. Um, so therefore, in fact, for me, the process, like he had uh, mm. uh, alluded, having a process that probably could be done online, mm. then the vetting done, but people also have the right to do a conduct scrutiny, mm -hmm. with also ample time being given to them. If the, I understand, you were saying, like, for example, um, if the IEC could come out with a rule or the electoral act which says, okay, Nominations are not political campaigns. Exactly. So bring mm -hmm. the can the aspirant and say fifty people like what they've done it, to enter exactly. the enclosure where exactly. they are and exactly. stop there. Exactly. The police and the IEC liaison and don't give license for any political rally or procession Ch on that day. Ch 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 that would be very whoa. boring. That would be very boring. <laughs> whoa, whoa. We okay, already have a problem here. Yeah. That's yeah. Is we want to kill the public order what? act. And yeah. you are now enforcing the public order act. act. Okay, now so the, the issue of permit and license mm -hmm. for me to go out on the streets should yes. be a non-starter. Nyanjai exactly. or any exactly. Gambian no, should, should be able at any what? point okay. to gather, okay. and that is something we should not even encourage. No, but actually, I have a pushback on that. I have a pushback on 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 that argument. So that would be very boring. A question what if we were at the height of COVID now would we have to postpone the elections because we cannot innovate and come up with technology that we can do this easily no, but, no, what? Okay, what he's trying to say is he's trying to say even with the mobilization of supporters and everything you know he's trying to say that even at that place some people who have not come with this crowd or are not able to mobilize it find, will find themselves Disadvantage. In fact, the people are going to view them as maybe not having any supporters. He said all this can affect it, but if some people are all equally allowed to bring, say, let's say, fifty people, or do it online where nobody is present. No, 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 online for me is, is for the access. Politics. But politics, the ambience, it's a marketplace of ideas. <laughs> yeah. And yes. in a marketplace of ideas, mm -hmm. you cannot limit or curtail. Okay. That's what it. we need to do. Yeah. Politics is a numbers game. Okay. Yeah. If I want to bring a million people to show my support, mm -hmm. it's my prerogative. I agree. Ah. No, the no. Number, let me come. Let me finish. I, 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 no, I want to talk about point there. You see, the, the number games. Mm -hmm. There's already a space for that. We, we the start with the campaign period is there. No, you can. You can no, no. Let me just stop. No, no, if you allow me to finish, the point, I, I'm, I'm, to finish yeah, the point I'm trying to put up here is, um, look. You see, we, they, we have a lot of issues in our processes, but we only do consider the process. But the repercussions are even much higher than even the process itself alone. Do you understand what I'm trying to put across? So um, we are the politicians, and then we know what we go through, each of the political parties, to see, to show to the government people and the electorates how strong we are. <laughs> but the other way around, what I'm but, just trying to put But that is politics. No, yeah, no, I, I, I understand. Allow him to. I, I understand. Allow I understand. You see, this is a specific period we're talking about. Mm. Yeah. And a spe yes, a spe specific moment. But there that shouldn't we're be about. any specific Mid period. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the entire political environment but, or space. Okay. If you allow me you see, before, before even nomination, yes. mm. how many campaigns, rallies have been held by the same thing. It's the same thing. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, let him put emphasis on the Let him complete that so we know. Gentlemen, you see, but you know, when, when we have our rally mm -hmm. in probably Boovazon or somewhere else, this yes. is a political party organizing their own rally. Yes. So whatever numbers you have, whatever you bring, this is your own trouble. That's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. But I'm issue here, I'm talking about the issue of fair play. I will, I will take this care of that issue for you in one what word. I, mm -hmm. 
campaign finance reform. Mm. That's now, it. allow me. Which day are we Allow me. Allow no, me. No, we are ready. No, no, no. I put it to the party. No, no, no. Yes, that is where, look, look. Okay. What, what I, like, <laughs> the reason I talked about financing, yeah. mm-hmm. I think this is where I was heading to. No, uh-huh. let's see. No, no, but you know, you have to build up to no. get to where you go. No. Okay. No, 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 let me come in. Let him, let him complete. Yeah, this is where I was, come, we'll come. myself, me, myself. Yes. Um, if you could even ask uh, the members of the inter-party committee also, mm-hmm. I have called for reforms in campaign financing in a lot of different platforms well, Mr. Chan, can I and i'm saying this in public can can I and even people that may ask for it you can you can you can you can you can whatsoever no i know no, let me interject, no, I, 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 let I, can, let say this. I know okay. there's a problem i was at a validation workshop no. for the electoral acts mm-hmm. even iec was concerned about some of these things attestation was one the other one was the political party financing none of the political parties present at that place was ready to be regulated when it comes to financing. I think it, it, what if my memory serves me right. And this is not you as a person. No, 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 but I'm saying the people that were there. I so know. our problem is I actually, I until know, you people are ready for that. No, 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 we are ready for that. I, I know that's not <laughs> you as an individual. I know. I know, I know. No, we have a reason. You know, you know what, you need, what you need to ask for mm-hmm. is why are we not you know, uh, um, disclosing. But that's a debate for you another know, day. Let's take it to this issue. Disclosing that financial yes. information ICE is, is requesting for. Uh-huh. We all, no, no, no. Let's, 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 let's be honest. Let's let's debate we all know, day. we all know the privileges that government might have mm-hmm. huh? or the government that is in place. Or the now, party in power. Our party in power. Mm-hmm. So now, what political parties were saying is, of course, uh, most of us would, 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 would um, subscribe to um, uh, uh, um, um, legislation on, on political financing. But here the issue is, the IEC is requesting information from political parties. Mm. And they are requesting from who dono- donate to a political party. Absolutely. And yeah. at the end of the day, there is no finance or no support that is coming from government the other time. Now, you some of us can't have that. No, no, no. There are certain political fears in the process that go on by political parties. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of us may believe that whatever information IEC may have do you see? Could is accessible to maybe somebody that is in a privilege because it's a Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Chair. No, no, no. Wait, wait, come no, no, no. no. Okay. Do you understand? Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? So, but why would you want me you. to know your, you. your finance? Well, now, let me give. Let me, let me give an example. Yeah. Let me give an example. Yeah. Let me give an example. Um, there was somebody who was a supporter of the GDC mm-hmm. and is a Gambian. Do you see what I'm saying? So before election, this person was approached by people identifying themselves to have come from the government or whatsoever. And such a person was clearly warned to desist from doing that. And when the, when the same particular individual went into supporting the NPP, we never, had, we never hear any problem coming from his side. So Mr. Chair, problem, now, that, that, is, that is what I'm trying to put across. So mm-hmm. You see, it, um, you know, when, when I started, mm-hmm. the first thing that I talked about was the issue of fair play. Yeah, fair play. And what will bring fair play? Financial, mm-hmm. like he said, having legislation on financial uh, campaign financing mm-hmm. will bring about fair play. Yes. Okay. What, what, what is your understanding? Allow, allow me to allow come come understanding of fair play. Allow me to come in. No, 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 I, no. I, don't, I don't seem to understand where he is. Yeah. Let, me, let me answer this. What is your understanding? When you say fair play, you've mentioned it four times yes, already. Yes. What is your understanding of fair yeah, play? What, what I mean by fair play yes. is we, go, we have an, um, um, uh, an, elect, uh, an, an election uh, environment where parties with uh, 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 privilege for prob- probably resources, financing, and then other probably other logistical, mm-hmm. you know, advantage mm-hmm. would not give them the upper hand. And what will this? What, 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 what will, you not, will you not be unfair to the party to the party you, that has more money than you? You want to no, be the same. Be, no, it's not going to be. I can't give an example. I can't can, can give an example. I can't give an example. Right now, right now, not long ago in France, President Sarkozy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Former president. Former president, yes. Yeah. Was found guilty for what? Well, wrong campaign uh, funding, receiving for. No, yes. but also spending above the spending, spend, above, above spending. Yeah, yeah. Because so there's a law. That's a law for that. That's what I'm trying to say. Guys. They have, they, they, you, you think that they didn't have the power to spend as much as they can. Right, but right. there is a responsible they government. Didn't. Okay, let me come in here, please. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. Okay. All right. Let, let me come here. We wanted to hear from The you. environment mm-hmm. is what it is today because mm-hmm. of rent seeking. Mm-hmm. 
the incumbent mm -hmm. is having free money, mm -hmm. free parks because of economic rent seeking, like it or not. Mm -hmm. People don't love the person in office. They love the influence that that person wields. Mm -hmm. So now if we want to change that, mm -hmm. all political parties, mm -hmm. so there won't be underdogs, exactly. will now agree on one thing. Mm -hmm. We all want to be forced amongst equals. Mm -hmm. In an environment where we are all forced amongst equals, mm -hmm. You don't have an advantage over me. And that and disadvantage that is not being put on me is protected by law. Mm -hmm. That's number one. But that's you the idea. That's no, no, but allow, allow me. Allow me. Then the second yes. thing is mm -hmm. you cannot call for transparency when you don't want us, the electorate, to, to know be able who to is know giving who's giving yeah, money. I'm not talking about the electorate. No, 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 allow me. no, 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 I have given you an example. No, no, no. Cut it short. Who are we talking about? The support of the GDC was not cautioned by an electorate. Yes, but what this what I'm saying. saying. The point, my brother. Now, oh. I'm not talking I about just... we are ready yeah. to, to, to disclose whatever so... financial information that GDC may have to the public. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But what I'm just trying so to... So you don't trust government? The... I'm not... I'm no, not, not, not the past no, no, The past is the past. The past is the past. If we, the will use it if we understand you, mm -hmm. you were trying to say, mm -hmm. and, and I want you to move on from that, mm -hmm. you said the whole process from nomination, mm -hmm. you know, should have changed mm -hmm. so that parties can come as equals mm -hmm. and not uh, a ground for people to flex their muscles as to how much resources mm -hmm. do yeah. they have to mobilize, how much oh, how much a crowd or whatever. You mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. you know, in your view, it should have been made in such a way that, mm -hmm. like Mr. Jeng and uh, Mr. Jai and mm -hmm. Jeng said, it could have been done online mm -hmm. so that, you know, uh, uh, I mean, people will have long period to scrutinize, etc. Mm -hmm. You move from there. Mm -hmm. You said there can be underdogs, you know, in a yes. nomination yes. process yes. that can mm -hmm. really, you know, influence people's mind and therefore it's not fair play. Mm -hmm. you, you move, we move from there on. Mm -hmm. you, you are going to tell us mm -hmm. How are your party thinks that you have satisfied and not satisfied with uh, in the process so far? Can we quickly go to that place before we... Yeah, probably. Um, also, one of the things that we're not satisfied is the window that was given for scrutiny. Okay. For the, for, for the yeah, we agree. Scrutiny. We all agree. Because yeah. actually, you know, having somebody to, to, to revisit, to, to go through a bunch of a, a file packed mm -hmm. for within five minutes, doesn't make even any sense. Okay. You know, and then you will not even be able to dilute what that you have found. Mm -hmm. Even to me, like he's, that's the suggestion that he made, which is very, very key. Mm -hmm. And there should have been, and this is what even what we do when we're reporting financial information. Mm -hmm. We always do a comparison probably with the previous year. Mm -hmm. Then we can understand throughout yeah. this period what has reflected, what has improved mm -hmm. when, to this particular individual. So that itself also it is a very is, is, is a cause for concern. Yeah. Do you see to all of us? And then also yes, like he said, um, it, it's an open space now. It's mm. it's democracy. Everybody has the right to come in and then put in your what, your tender for 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 the seat. Mm -hmm. Do you see? But actually, at the end of the day, um, like he alluded, um, mm. political entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. I think every citizen should be very responsible enough to you know, to, 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 to try as much as possible to do away from that. Mm. And it is happening. We all know that it's happening because mm. I cannot, if GDC would have said, okay, now we have, because of ABUC, now we can align ourselves with Barrow. Mm. And since 2016, we have been against a lot of things that Barrow is doing, not actually um, um, because he's doing ABC, but by principle, mm. that we believe that's not the way the resources of this country should be utilized. Mm -hmm. And that's not the, the best way for the, for, for the common good. Mm. So if actually we could turn 360 just within a second, mm. you know, and then say yes, because that means we have, at that particular point in time, mm. denied all that we have been saying that has been the truth. Mm -hmm. So, and then actually, like he said, that is what happened in 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, 2016 was, came out of a, 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 a merge of political parties, mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, it was some kind of like a payoff to most of the contributions. Mm -hmm. This um, this how many people, you know, at that point in time mm -hmm. were given political office and so on. And before they came in, in fact, let me just talk about this electoral reform you're talking about. That 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 coalition, before they came in, in fact, I could remember there were out of about, I think about 15 point plan or whatsoever that they call GOVA at that time, mm -hmm. that they were trying to raise up to the then government, that these things need to be changed. And a lot of people talked about electoral reforms. Mm -hmm. When they came in, this was not actually a priority for them. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, th I know all of these things contribute to the process that we have today. Mm -hmm. But also, we can learn, because the window we're talking about here, this was not experienced in the, in the, in the, in the previous previous you know times mm. so therefore probably it's a new space okay. IEC probably themselves like he said one of you made, uh, made suggested that IEC 
claim mm -hmm. that they were expecting a lot of people. Yes. Myself, again, I was expecting a lot of people would be going there. Mm -hmm. And then looking at the, 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 the span, the time available, yeah. if actually they would have given more time, mm -hmm. then probably what they might, what they yeah. were thinking about could be a, could be a factor. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. um, we, 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 we appreciate mm -hmm. that um, at least, you know, some political parties and then an independent candidate were able to go through the process and be, be nominated finally. Mm. And then it just shows the democratic space we have now okay. that we all equally can go out and contest. But what I'm talking about only again, mm -hmm. you see, we can never have um, uh, the, the, the democratic uh, vision that we're yearning for mm -hmm. when we don't have um, a, a system of governance, a system of, 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 of legislation yeah. that provides for fair play. You know, basically, yeah, a law is as good as the very people mm. who administer, who administer it. Number right. one, mm. yeah. number two, before I even move, mm. I want to thank them for their role in 2016, whether they know it or not. Mm -hmm. GDC played a pivotal role mm. in bringing in about the change mm -hmm. because you took something away from someone mm. who, if not that um, thing would have been taken away, we still wouldn't be sitting here talking. And Gambians should be appreciative of the role that was played. Mm -hmm. That was then. Mm -hmm. Now what we're saying is, we want our country to change from what was mm -hmm. for over 22 years mm -hmm. and what is going on today that is not what we bargained for. And that starts mm -hmm. with us having an environment that is going to make institutions stronger than men and also create laws that are very clear without ambiguity to make sure that participatory democracy thrives in this country. But if we want all of us to be in the race and we don't mind when it suits us for the umpire to blow the whistle and say, move on. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you as an umpire, we should not move on because we are yet to get the resources we want. Mm -hmm. It means we are having a narrowly defined personal self-interest rather than looking at the collective good of Gambia. And looking at collective good of Gambia is to have an encompassing campaign finance law that is embedded into the electoral reforms, making sure public, this whole idea of public scrutiny comes in through the Freedom of Information Act that will be clearly stipulated in the Constitution that do just use the word medium because maybe 20 years ago from now the internet will be yeah. redundant. Mm -hmm. So put it in a medium where the greater good of society will have access to it. Whatever that medium is, we don't care. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing is, mm -hmm. government should avail us, the Ministry of Land should avail me if I want to look at the title deed of X, Y, and Z mm -hmm. to see whether there is any forgery there or whether the paper has been predated, backdated, whatever. Mm -hmm. Then the whole process will serve the purpose it's supposed to serve. If not, it is just an exercise. And yeah. I don't want to participate in an exercise. Just, just access to information. Just a few yes. seconds. I just wanted to say something. Yes. When we talk about you, we don't. We are not talking about you as an individual. Yeah, I know. Or you as GDC. Political party. We are looking at the political parties. Yes, you know, my disappointment is with the political parties. There is a provision to have private members' bills. Everybody says, well, we don't have the capacity. How? You are a political party. Why don't you sponsor a private member's bill? I have not heard even the opposition making noise about some of the reforms that we need. There is an anti-corruption bill in parliament from 2019. You talk about corruption now in government. What have you done as opposition? We have an electoral bill. How many of the politicians have been putting pressure? But I said that it, maybe it's a blessing in disguise that that bill has not yet been passed. Because now we can put pressure as civil society and other, as the public to, to look at the reforms and to take these things on board. In this current bill, there is no um, political party financing regulation. Maybe now we have to look at it. And let me say this quickly. If you have a political party financing regulation or law, even the government is put on, or the ruling party comes under that check. So this thing of using government resources and uh, having, like he said, all these investors come in because they want, they will be disadvantaged. Oh, so if, if we, and, and then if you are also saying that, well, um, the reason why you don't want to declare is because maybe government can call some of your, but, but if you declare to us the public, you are also depriving us, the public, to see how transparent you are. So if you are keeping it from government or you don't want to disclose, you are also keeping it from us. Maybe that's not the intention, but I think we all need to work together as a nation and look at what is best and in the best interest of the country and do it together. 
Let's stop this partisan, no, uh, I'm this political party, I'm opposition, I'm ruling party. Let's look at Gambia. What is best for us? Okay. I, I, I want now us to look at the messaging. Um, of course, the GDC is here. I mean, you have not formally started your campaign. Uh, when we look at uh, NPP's messaging, we look at uh, uh, DOI, for example, uh, who have been going around and see. Now, how effective are the political parties communicating their message, and how has been the reaction of the populace? Now, let's start with the NPP. Very quickly, we can. The NPP said they are opening their doors to all kind of political players now. For example, in Young Manson, uh, you know, a category that can fall under his political entrepreneurship. People who actually started, you know, as some people or group who wants to establish a separate entity as political groups, now pack up everything themselves and their party and join the NPP. <laughs> the NPP said they are welcoming all because they have an agenda of, uh, you know, inclusiveness, right? bringing everybody on board and that they want reconciliation, they want unity, uh, you know, and they want all sorts of things. And, you know, I mean, if you are in a few minutes to um, assess or analyze that message, what and what are the things you will agree or disagree with? Um, fundamentally, um, when someone talks bad about you as a party and wants to come back to you, I think the first thing you should ask is what changed? I think that is lacking in the narrative that the NPP is pushing in. Um, it's good to have people join you, but if those people have been basically backseat drivers shouting, turn left and right, and later on begin to jump in front of the seat and want to ride with you, that means something's changed. Either what you've been doing wrong has been rectified, or um, what they've been mentioned to be wrong is actually wrong this time. Mm -hmm. So they should be able to have a political um, communication machinery to be able to, it would be not good for some, some of those people joining the NPP now, but if you ask me, I'll ask them to declare why they're joining the NPP. Not the f usual fluff they put, oh, we want to unite the country. By the time you were opposing, were well, you not thinking about uniting the country? You know, that's one thing. And also, um, some of the political parties, they lack the narrative. And in a political season when you have only two weeks of campaign, you should be able to have messages that will resonate with the voters. Mm -hmm. But if you go and ask a typical NPP or say, for instance, uh, GDC or APRC coalition, what is your political party message? You know, it's only few that will be able to tell you this is our point agenda, this is our manifesto and so on. I think political parties should start doing that, letting the electorates know about their agenda rather than going on platforms you know, blasting each other. We want to know what they want to do. Okay. I, I'm trying to ask specifically, are you convinced that what they said a minute, that is, they are welcoming all these uh, failed, uh, uh, well, to, so to speak, who failed to be nominated, they're opening doors and getting, everybody can walk now with a briefcase and say, I have endorsed President Barrow, I need to be flashed in the news and everything. Do you think, uh, as a party, NPP, <laughs> is this really giving them <laughs> more numbers or credibility or minus taking credibility or well, missing from them? numbers yes credibility no just to be simple somebody will say <laughs> <laughs> some, somebody will say even those who are coming actually uh, hardly come with anybody mm. yeah, but, <laughs> well even, even if it is two people it's good to have people join you again but for example APP we have the leadership uh, go with DOI and then members going to the NPP but even oh. if it is one, <laughs> it's still an addition. Okay. You know, if, if I want to be that much dogmatic about numbers. Yeah. But again, um, it's like my colleagues here said, um, if someone is mentioning something about you that you've not been doing, like I said earlier on, not right, mm -hmm. now all of a sudden, 360 degrees said, this is the best thing since sliced bread, you know, then you have to question, why is this person joining me? Good. Yeah. You know, just like in, in what we do in our profession as journalists, yes, we, we want the truth, yeah. but we have facts to establish that. Yeah. But there's more to the truth than the facts alone yeah. in establishing the truth. Yeah. And that is why. Mm. If you answer that, what's the motive behind this? Mm. 
then you'll be able to understand. Maybe they are joining a bandwagon for something else mm. that you're not aspiring to. Yeah. Or maybe it is the same narrative that you, you know... You or they're, lo they're just looking for jobs. Just looking for jobs, <laughs> possibly. It could be. Yeah. Yes, sir. Recently, you endorsed UDP. Yes. So I'm beginning to ask, why are these people not flooding to UDP as they join the NPP? Why are they not uh, going right. to UDP? Do they, I, do they as NPPs, you yeah. always accuse the UDP of... Uh, uh, you know, uh, very hardliners who are always angry or so. So these people are not flooding to UDP. Why they wouldn't go there? You know, um, before I even comment, I'll make a statement. Okay. Politics mm -hmm. is the second oldest profession apart from prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? That's the oldest. <laughs> but well, I didn't see much. I didn't as see much. And they are similar in as okay. much. <laughs> yes, they are similar. <laughs> but in as much, yeah. it's an honorable profession. Profession too, yes. Mm -hmm. Nyang Yai is highly political, but he is not partisan. I. How can you say that? Allow me. No, no. Well, if you okay, just, okay, go ahead. When I want to make a statement, I just want you okay. to please allow me. Let me learn. Okay. Then we can interact. Okay. Right. Nyang Yai is, is making a tactical decision ah. as far as Nyang Yai is concerned. Okay. If I believe that Esam by far, because my end game, mm -hmm. I'll be very brutally honest to say it. I don't want to see another five-year term for Adam Obaro. And my vote, I'm not voting out of emotions. I'm, out, I'm vo voting out of logic to make sure my end game is attained. No more Adam Obaro. Okay. Now I do my own political calculus based on my understanding of the environment. And the if I believe environment, I never said issues, okay. environment. environment okay. Very clear. Mm -hmm. If I believe Esam by far can pull a Houdini and make it happen, mm -hmm. I will be the first to be under his stewardship to help make that happen. Mm -hmm. If I believe Halifa Sala can make it happen, I will do it. If I believe Mama Kande can make it happen, I'm going to him. If I believe Ablai Jame can make it happen, I will go to him. If I believe, which I happen to do right now, looking at the present political configuration, mm -hmm. my honest opinion, unfiltered, and Nyang Jai doesn't care, mm -hmm. this is my unfiltered, honest opinion, mm -hmm. that the only person today, in my view, emotions aside, mm -hmm. that has a good chance mm -hmm. of unseating Adam Obaro mm -hmm. is Lawyer Dabo. Therefore, I am making a tactical decision mm -hmm. to put my vote mm -hmm. where it will impact the desired outcome that I want as a person. And this is very dear to my heart. I don't want to see another five years of Adam Abaro. You see, there is political hypocrisy in this country. Mm -hmm. now, you and Nyang mm -hmm. he was there. I had to even step down from a show that I've been doing for five years, straight talk. Yeah. And that's the price I'm willing to pay. Because to make it. sure that what I want for my country, the way I see it, and the way I am comfortable to get the outcome I want, I'm going to do it. But Nyang Jai has never attended a political meeting with UDP or any other political party. And I've been saying this for the longest. I am highly political as a person, but I am not a partisan Gambian. Okay, you, 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 you have said it all. You think Hussein Dawa is better placed? Not better placed, has a better chance. Uh, you see, that you are in terms of, no, no, you're talking <laughs> to a wordsmith here. In terms of, you mean, no, 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 you're talking to a wordsmith. Better no, place I'm and better chance. No, I'm I'm not, I am not, I'm not finished. When I say better place, in your perspective, is that because you think he has the numerical strength than the order, that what the others up against Baro did not have? Or you think he's, in terms of competence, he is the one. That's what I want to know. Yang Jai told you in clear terms without ambiguity that he did his personal political calculus. Uh -huh. And based on my political calculus, yeah. I respect everyone in the field. Yeah. But I believe without hesitation mm -hmm. that lawyer Hussein Udabo, mm -hmm. if the elections were tomorrow, has a better chance mm -hmm. to unseat because you have more people, more support, more, more okay, support. If you allow me to... No, I'm not know. We would like to know why no, you say no, this. Well, if you allow, if you allow me... Okay, to go ahead, yes. Right now, as it stands, mm -hmm. I believe his chances mm -hmm. are 
stronger. Why? Because he happens to have a consolidated base. I see. I will come to it. Now, you see, in politics, mm. we have to be true to each other and true to the environment. Mm. Right now, mm. Mama Kande, good candidate, mm. but you know what? He is eating from the same cookie jar that Esafal and Adam Abaro will be eating from. Mm. Whether we like it or not. Mm. Can, can you unpack that? Okay, the way I'm on okay, the way I'm going to unpack it, and this is my political calculus. Mm. I believe of all the political parties, and it's maybe because of the twenty years of their existence under a brutal environment, has made them to gel as an entity more than any other political group in this country, and it has also given them structures at the lowest level of governance in this country. Yeah? Mm. So today, like them or hate them, they have what you call a herd mentality. They move in a pack. Mm. So as a voting bloc, their bloc is more solid than any other group. Why? There are people who will vote for Mama Kande. They, have, they may sway to Esafal or Baron. Mm. There are people who will vote for UDP and UDP alone, nothing else. There is no substitute when it comes to voting. And if you look at the mindset, they have a stronger core base who believe in that. So what does that do? It makes their core support more intact than any other group. You have the undecided that will go three or four ways. Some to Esa, some to Kande, some to Baro, and some to Halifa. But if you look at the prospective voter who may vote for them, it's them or nothing. And that solidifies the block mm -hmm. vote that they have. Okay. So my political calculus was premised on that. I see. I'm not talking about they have more numbers than anybody else, I come but they have a solid core mm -hmm. that we would, know that would whether not, we like it would or not. not change their mind, whatever. Love me. Can, can, I, can I provoke the discussion yes. a bit? Yeah, I, well, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, Mr. Um, Mr. GDC, GDC. Yes. We, are, we, are, we are looking at the message. Mm. <laughs> now, we are, we are looking at the message. Yeah, I want to promote the NPP, this. the NPP said they are open to everybody yes. because they want to unite everybody, they want to reconcile everybody. So even the big face, big, biggest politicians and everything, they want them. They will not. They will, as, for the, as far as they are concerned, every vote, every man Equal counts. opportunity. Equal opportunity. <laughs> Now, GDC, we have seen that, uh, well, GDC have always been consistent in their criticisms of the, Jav the Barrow administration, etc., etc. Mm. Oh, okay, we, in the past, we have also known you to be, uh, you know, condemning the, the very things that have been happening in the last 23 years on the Jamme, etc., etc. So, people now have, you know, you know, worry as to how could you quickly jump into bed mm with a faction of the of Jammeh's APRC, particularly the one most loyal uh, to, 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 to Jammeh. How do you reconcile this with your four previous stand, your anti, you know, anti, anti, you know, dictatorial, you know, stand against Jammeh? Is it not now, is it, is it not fair now for one to see that, to say that you are now actually sympathetic or maybe accommodating to, to Jammeh since you are, you are now carrying, uh, you know, his, his supporters? Okay, I will, I will answer the question in, uh, in three folds. But okay. the first thing I would want to comment on uh, 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 Mr. Mr. Nyangja's uh, position. Mm -hmm. um, I have been a keen, very keen follower of his pages, his mm -hmm. comments, and then um, his, um, you know, educate, perspectives, uh, perspectives mm -hmm. educating the masses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but at this moment, I want him to accept mm -hmm. that he's UDP. So there's no there's no no other qualification. That, that, that is that is the truth. That is, but but now, if someone openly. Secondly, allow me. No 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 for us politicians, we always. Yes, I am agreeing with him. I am saying until after elections, Rewu Nyangai is UDP. Yes, that's the truth. Now, he agreed. He agreed. Go ahead. For us politicians, we always have a thin line that we draw. Do you see? 
whenever we cannot dis you know differentiate whether you have jumped sip or not then we put you as part of that pack and yeah, that, that's and, yeah that's that's it so exactly. where, 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 where now, 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 for you for you, you you're still on the other side <laughs> yeah. you're still on the not the side of the point you're not still passing uh, you're, 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 you're still passing you're, you're still yeah, passing yeah, yeah. but the, the, now, the MPP now, said they are, they are politicians masquerading us now, no, now, no, 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 don't mind don't mind MPP I'll have some different MPP okay. now secondly um, also, uh, uh, Mr. Nyang's position um, uh, for endorsing UDP, um, uh, lawyer Senudavo, I think like, because also yet about him, the perspective that I myself I've, have always heard about him, it should be about issue base. That's, that's what I him to endorse any of the candidates. Mm -hmm. But not only about removing barrel. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we did it for Jamie. Yeah, now let me come in. <laughs> yes, yeah, because if you <laughs> if you remove Barrow, yeah. if you remove Barrow, mm -hmm. most important is you make so we will not have a replica of what we have again. Because otherwise, in, next, you are in the next door. You are in, the, door. in the next five years, okay. you will still be endorsing another candidate you are, to remove. You are speaking door to remove door. So it has to be issue based. Mm -hmm. uh, thirdly, I dis totally disagree that at the moment UDP has the best chance. I totally uh, disagree with that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, a perception. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, it is said in form of a politician, also yeah. another contestant. So I will have to, you know, yes, okay. push back on that. Put my Why push back? Why do you think now, it's GDC? Yeah, I think I think it's GDC. Why do you think? Uh, yeah, right. Because yes. I know that's where you're coming from. Because if you if you talk about the numbers, <laughs> yes, um, maybe he, about he said basis. Yes, basis. yeah, I know. If, if, if we talk Where about basis, base? I want to talk about basis again. Yeah, yeah. Um, by the, the last presidential elections, parliament and all of that, you see the GDC has a very strong base, yes. especially in North Bank area yeah. and, and, and other parts. And the URR. Yeah, and, the URR. Mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, that base is still there. Is still there. Mm -hmm. I will not deny mm -hmm. that Barrow has taken yeah. from the GDC, mm -hmm. uh, from, from all. Yeah. But I can tell you, again, probably don't be surprised that UDP could be the, the party that Barrow might affect the most. Mm -hmm. Because um, this was a government mm -hmm. or sat in by the UDP. Mm -hmm. And many of members of the UDP mm -hmm. have benefited mm -hmm. and still are within that government serving. Just said a split from UDP. It's so it's a, split. Himself, yes. so it's, a yeah. it's a split from UDP. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That, that, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, he would borrow himself. Good. Now, if you go back to the numbers, mm -hmm. you go to 20, 2016 presidential elections, mm -hmm. and then you go now to the parliamentary elections, you mm -hmm. look at our total number of votes as G a party, GDC, GDC yeah. compared to then UDP, yeah. plus UDP with the leverage or the, uh, the, the privilege of government. Mm -hmm. They say, mm -hmm. Barrow himself publicly mentioned that he, 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 he supported yeah. UDP yeah. fully. Mm -hmm. He financed their, their, their campaign. Mm -hmm. he, he made that, that, uh, that, he made that public. He made that claims. Yes. That claims, yes. Mm -hmm. it financed, exactly. So we, we, we all know mm -hmm. that even irrespective of all of that, mm -hmm then at that time, UDP had all that privilege behind them. Mm -hmm. And even after the parliamentary election, you also come back to the local government elections. Mm -hmm. You see, when it comes to total number of votes, yes, when it comes to the number of seats, mm -hmm. there's a big margin, there's a big gap. Mm -hmm. But that's not the same as when it comes to the total number of votes, mm -hmm. you know, by, by the political Absolute party. Major, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, what I'm, and, and now we're going back to another presidential elections. Mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to take away that leverage, that, that privilege as, as, as a government from, UDP from the UDP, mm -hmm. also the other members that have uh, been serving in this government that are a bit borrowed publicly now. Mm -hmm. there's no, so therefore, it's going to affect the UDP in a lot of ways. Okay. Now, secondly, a mm -hmm. uh, few months ago, um, yes, the, uh, exactly, if, uh, the, I don't want to come back to that area, even though mm -hmm. the nomination, mm -hmm. but if you don't have anything to go by, mm -hmm. then you will, you will know that exactly, obviously, GDC is a very solid party on the ground. Mm -hmm. Now, but uh, the other thing I want to say is, um, I can tell you mm -hmm. that most, uh, an absolute majority mm -hmm. of voters mm -hmm. of the APRC are with GDC today. Now, mm -hmm. that alone, that alone, mm -hmm. if they had had a leader mm -hmm. to contest these elections, mm -hmm. they will be a strong rival to any of the political parties. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, so you bring that to play mm -hmm. with what GDC already has. Mm -hmm. That will tell you GDC stand a very good chance in winning this election. So when it comes to numbers, yeah. that's a fact that as it stands today, yeah. as it stands today, mm -hmm. and also you see another another forming coalition, mm -hmm. that is the, the DOI and so on. You know, mm -hmm. um, the DOI and APP so and far. APP uh, so far. Mm -hmm. And, and Quran, independent and Quran, 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 independent Alayi Quran, and so on. Mm -hmm. So you see, 
they also are going to play a, a, and as, even Esa Fal himself mm -hmm. is going to play a very important narrative. Mm -hmm. They are going to influence in the narratives in a lot of way, mm -hmm. especially in the West Coast, in the KM area. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Mm -hmm. And one thing, let me tell you, you know, like he said, yes, UDP has a strong base. Mm -hmm. GDC does, APRC does. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the undecided voters mm -hmm. probably could have been claimed by these political parties. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you also a good number of the undecided probably might go mm -hmm. into voting this coalition. So therefore, in that case, they would minus mm -hmm. from all of these political parties that are solid on the ground. And mm -hmm. go to GDC. No, no, they're, they're no, not coming to GDC. GDC. No, you said it would be, they would be split. split. They would probably be split. a lot of them, a lot of them, they, it will be split all over. Okay. Okay. So you also that gives another chance. Okay, you didn't answer. Let's go no, to the question no, now. No, no, how do you feel? Just, just, just no, they married with um, the APRC. We have not No, yeah, 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 before yeah, 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 No, no, yes, yes. Yes. When it comes to the marriage with APRC. If you can excuse me, I just wanted to ask um one one question. You mentioned numbers. Um, obviously, five years ago, 2016, the dynamics have changed, mm -hmm. and the voter record mm -hmm. is gone from um, yeah. from 800,000 to almost a, uh, almost 800 a million. To Don't increase so now, are you That's basing it on 2016 numbers, or you're also looking in consideration of? I have, this I have considered all of this, and also I'm a politician that's on the ground that has been receiving message or, or information about what's happening on the ground, the current dynamics mm -hmm. on a single in a single basis in, in a single day, every single day. Mm -hmm. But actually, these are not. What's the source of that information? What's the source of that information? These are not. These are not things that I can I can put on the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I, 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 I talk about. I would really love you um, to go to he, the. Let's talk about. Yes, no, no, no. He, he talk about structures. Yeah. GDC is one of the projects that has structures even Always. at a village level okay. across. Okay. So when we have information, this comes directly from well, the electorate themselves. This bottle now, yeah. is secondly, half empty. Now, secondly, uh -huh. this bottle is half full, full to me. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what I want him to understand mm -hmm. that if Nyangyai comes out openly and endorses, it means. He has already taken a side. Mm -hmm. So that is a fatal complete that doesn't even need a debate. So no, 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 he didn't no, no, allow me, allow me. Just 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 allow me. I'm giving you a point of departure. <laughs> now, yeah. the issue here that I'm making, mm -hmm. it's not emotional at all. Absolutely. And what yeah, I want him to understand mm -hmm. is the APRC that he is claiming mm -hmm. as a party today, mm -hmm. APRC has since moved in 2017 because of political entrepreneurship. Yeah. What is left of APRC today? Is split mm. in no, 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 no. What is left of the core APRC are eighty percent people who happen to have a tribal affinity to the party. Number one, whether we like it or not, you see, there are some troops that we have to just bring out for what they were. Mm -hmm. They form the core of what is left of APRC. Mm -hmm. The other are noble people who believed in the party and stuck when the party was down and out. But the political entrepreneurs have moved when move was nice and fashionable, 2017, 2018. But so what you are left with mm -hmm. is not a party, but it's a remnant but of a party. But he's still so. Still allow me now. The party, the, the the force behind that party before December 1st, 2016, mm -hmm. is not the force behind that party today, whether the split was there or not. Okay. Even if it didn't split. It's not the same. But well, he said that you know, as as, as a journalist, like I even, when you when you like, tell me something, I am I am marriage. interested yes. in the facts. Yes. That's why I was we pushing. I was pushing so that, that I would to be able to understand and also be able to respond have, and ask you questions yeah, based on to, that. To help in that, yes. even if you have to say, let's say it was mm -hmm. 43, 40 40 percent in in twenty sixteen, mm -hmm. just now say it's twenty percent. Okay. Even if it is twenty percent, the majority of that twenty percent, he said, is with that. No, no. They just say it is. It is twenty percent now. Yeah. You know, it was. For, it was. For, they got forty percent in 2016. Yeah. Just say half of it is gone. Mm -hmm. Which actually he knows, and everybody knows that's not the case. Mm -hmm. But just say twenty percent, and the twenty percent are with GDC now. Mm -hmm. Twenty and G, even if GDC were ju just to bring only twenty, let's say, mm -hmm. is, that, is, 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 is that not already a, a clear victory? Let's go then. How are you How are you able, in some people's view, to compromise your principles? to to marry James loyalist part of the see, that's also another another situation where a lot of the journalists in the Gambia have not done their work right. Okay. 
Do you understand? Yes. What on. I expected from journalists would have been mm -hmm. that there is a document signed. Mm -hmm. On the day of the signing, the document was read from, from page to page. Yes. Everything was read out to the public. Yes. It was also on that same very platform yes. that GDC states clearly that, that any media house or journalist that wants this document, okay. please come to the office and pick a, pick a copy. Okay. What determines the marriage yes. is what we have as a document. Okay. Now, what and there is not uh -huh. there is not a single phrase in that document uh -huh. that has been put to pen uh -huh. in the interest of Jami. No, yeah, listen, you don't understand. Do you understand? No, listen. So it has all been no, no, in the no, 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 it does not change the fact that you have married to the an faction and instrument. Impression. No, listen, and a, a group that is loyal to Jame. Whether or not you say Jame could come back or it could be pardoned, it's not. It's not. It's, it's so, between you. So, it's between you. So, but how are you? We are, if we are righteous, yeah. if we are righteous, how are you able then? And we are people of consent and uh, of consent. Mm. Co consent. Yes. If we really are, yes. Those that you are saying, yeah that are loyalists to Jammy. Yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. are these people not citizens of this no, country? No, ask me. Are, no, 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 are these individuals oh, correct, not given um, absolute okay. rights correct, by yeah. the constitution that correct, give us the platform correct. today? No, listen to go. You have to, you have to The same constitution where give us the platform today to talk about answer, issues. Yes. Freedom to associate. The freedom to associate. Yes. Yes. So don't you think, by even questioning yeah. the legitimacy of those people having the right mm -hmm. to associate themselves with GDC, even 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 questioning the very you fundamental of the principles the one who's and, 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 and constitution of a country that break that bind together. Okay. You Go see, ahead. look, let us be very it's honest. The umbrella they are let, using, let, no, let's, let us, let's listen to him. Let us be honest. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody mm -hmm. among those people that have today mm -hmm. come that we are seeing or calling German loyalists mm -hmm. that are with us today? That have been gravely mentioned, probably, mm -hmm. in, in, in some of the issues you talked about. No, we, let's go ahead. Let's just, now, just now, one, one other thing. One at a time. One other thing mm -hmm. is the GDC mm -hmm. is a political party that has been known, categorically claimed known, for to be to be a principled based party. Mm -hmm. And this starts since 2016. Mm -hmm. When we withdrew from the coalition talks, as an example, I made a video explaining why. Do you understand? The first talks, we were there until it crashed. The second talk, we were there until when it comes to the modality to selecting a leader. Mm -hmm. All political parties were asked to come up with a modality. Yeah. So we, on that very day, we came and found the press. Mm -hmm. I myself raised that question, why should we even have the press? Mm -hmm. I can remember Fatima Tamba Jangjalo said, the public are asking questions. They need to know that we have agreed. So we, we, we said we haven't agreed on anything. This was not what we have agreed to do. And when, I, when we withdrew from that, I came out to explain to the public that they were because of A, B, C, or D. Yeah. That's why. So uh, just to tell you that since inception, we have been a big principle-based uh, pa party. Mr. John, and another again, an, another, another issue here. Listen to him. This is a political party that has never been found mm -hmm. by its leader or any members of the executive. Mm -hmm. This is it. Mm -hmm. to, be, to, 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 to disrespect mm -hmm. the rights of any individual or even to go to make a comment, most, a lot of the leaders in the country today have been found making tribal comments mm -hmm. or sentiments. So there is not a single time this has ever happened with the GDC as a political party or its leader. Mm -hmm. So we are, we, are a, we are a group of people mm -hmm. that are so sensitive to the welfare of all Gambians. Let me ask you, are you and you have returned. Okay, listen, you <laughs> said, okay. I, my question was, people want to know how you have compromised your principles. Mm -hmm by accommodating Jame. Mm -hmm. Because obviously, mm -hmm. by accommodating people who only wish mm -hmm. was a soft landing, and every good good is for Jame, by accommodating them, you are actually subscribing to the same principles, that is, for Jame to have a soft landing. You said there no, was no... No, no, no I, listen, I cannot remember when... No, when, when you when said the there's no were, agreement. You when, said there's no agreement about Jame. There is an agreement. Just okay, I'm telling you. You no, said... No agreement giving Jame... I'm, 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 I'm telling you. Okay, I'm telling you. You said journalists have not investigated. Yes. Let me give you a hint. Mm -hmm. People have, journalists have self investigating. Mm -hmm. And the agreement you sign mm -hmm. and the one you are advertising mm -hmm. are different. So I give you a lead. I can so, swear. So I, can, I, can, I, can, I can swear. I can swear. I can swear. No, no, no. No, no, no. That will not go.
no, 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 it has to be very clear. I can day. swear to the Almighty, I'm a Muslim. Okay. I can swear to, to Allah the Almighty. There's only one there is only one okay. document signed. Cool. And it is a document. We are different. Right. Sorry, we are different from NPP. Right. We are not NPP. We are different right. from NPP. Because yes. we are people that are No, Mr. Joe, Mr. Jai. Unless Mr. Jai. You agree. No, no, no. Wait for Mr. Jai. No, we take you for your word. It is a fact. It is a fact. My confusion, I take you for your word. Okay. Because I always give people the benefit of the doubt. But you see, you said... No, no, no. No, but my brother. My brother, you cannot impose... My brother, you cannot I'm impose. You have to, you have to yes, but me. benefit of the doubt. Benefit of the doubt is I believe you. Benefit of the doubt is I believe you until otherwise proven. What? Yes. It's good. So what? But what we are saying, I really, you see, I have not made comments on what alliances, but I am also a Gambian. When you say you have principles, now you decide. It doesn't matter on the, the fine line of the contract between who you marry. But if I say I am this, this is the kind of wife I would marry. And now everything I said about the wife I want to marry, and other, it's contrary to the wife I end up marrying, mm -hmm. then you question my principle. GDC, did they condemn NPP, APRC alliance in the first place? So now you are talking about right to association. Why did you move away? No, 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 my brother, let me land. No, no, no. No, but no, 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 no. No, no, no. Did you make, did you make a statement or not? I asked a question. Did you make a statement? No, let me, let me land, my brother. Let's settle this. No, let me land, let me land. Okay, carry on. Did they make a statement or not when APRC, NPP had an alliance? What? No, but I'm just asking. If you made a statement, but again, when we started the conversation, Lamin, when we started the conversation, we talked about people that oppose a particular political ideology. GDC opposed, they stood against APRC in an election. And they pulled vote from the APRC. APRC lost. So on what basis now is this marriage? You see, let me tell you, my perception, and up to now I have not decided which political party I would vote for, based on my personal reasons. because. I look at everybody, it's, it's, like, it's like a marriage of convenience. When it doesn't suit me, I would condemn, criticize. When it suits me, I keep quiet. That's not easy. No, 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 I think who are sitting here don't want the right of any Gambian to be curtailed. But don't confuse the right of a Gambian and you accepting to work with an umbrella organization. This is not about the individuals. No, who, the umbrella, no, 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 allow me. IEC, IEC but allow me. Allow me. Allow me. No, no, but if you don't allow me. No, ca, ca, I should be talking. All I'm saying here is. The people you're working, call them NAM, mm -hmm. Non-Alliance Movement or whatever, mm -hmm. they're working under a banner. The banner is the party that they feel they belong and they are not kicked out no matter what the other side has done. So we are not looking at the individuals <coughs> there. Mm -hmm. We are looking at the in organization. So you are not in alliance with individual X, Y, and Z. You are in alliance with a group. And that group happens to have core ideals. Their core ideals are colliding with the interests of our society today. There are known members there, prominent, who have called the TRRC a joke, belittled the TRRC, and some of the things that came out of the TR TRRC known openly. They have done that. Even to add insult to injury. You created a platform unbeknown to you and it was not your intent i will give you not only the benefit of the doubt i know that they are decent people at your party and what janet did or during that day he made his diatribe i think gdc as a party not only old gambians collectively collectively yeah. Huh? Yeah. an unfeathered apology for allowing Jame to traumatize us after traumatizing us for 22 odd years. Whether it was for 10 seconds or for five minutes, he was allowed 
to hit Gambians where it mattered on most to the Gambians on your platform. So you know what you should have done immediately? And I have called people in your party and said, look, this is spilled milk. You can't pick it. But the test of leadership is when you rise to the occasion when it matters the most and take up ownership. Say it was the wrong calculation and we deplore what happened, but we are owning up to it. I swear to God, respect for you guys would have been even yeah. more. Okay. But I believe, but allow me, allow me to say. No, it's a true fact that they said can people, I say mis what? people misinterpreted I, Exactly. Oh, this is okay. 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 All right. Okay. 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 Mr. Yeah. Carr, <laughs> Cham, 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 I, ju I just want, I just, Mr. Yeah. Carr, Mr. Carr. You know, you are talking about two different things. This is what the GDC said. They said, can Miss Carr, Mr. Carr, Mr. Carr, Mr. Carr, Let me just give an Mr. Carr, just before you come in, just before you come in, let, let, me, let me allow me, allow me, Mr. Carr, um, let's look at this forensically. Um, you mentioned why you shouldn't bar them from joining your party, which is fine. Let's talk about what is not in the agreement. Um, just answer, yes or no. Would you say yes to the demands of parts of the APRC? When you win, would we say how how can I how can I yes or no? How do you expect me to sit on a on a television on a, on a television and say I would agree to demands yet or not? Okay, the demands are one. The demands are you know, you know, the the, the demands say, are look. The demands are Jamie comes back. No, no, no. That is no, no, no. Just, just no. Listen. No, no, no. No, if, no, no, if you listen, no, 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 no. If you try to, no, you if you try you to, put that question to no, the APRC faction. no, because, because you're, you're here as GDC. Well, let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Maybe, maybe. If you allow me, learn your perspective. No, no. If you allow me to learn. No, you take it and say on your own perspective. I'm not asking. I'm not telling you based on my perspective. I'm asking a question. You can choose to answer. Or divide or wriggle out of it is up to you. No, what I'm saying is, right. you're going to ask questions for people that are not he's here. Not going to ask you're not going to answer. No, no, no. 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 No, no,
that Jammeh should not be given a platform. They all the same condemned what Jammeh was saying there. They said, look, Jammeh is interfering now in our politics. The government should be made to get him to keep quiet. That was said there. That was condemned. And let me tell you what we told Sheikh Tijan Haider when they went to Ghana. We asked the question to Sheikh Tijan, look, how would you cope with critics of Jammeh? Who will now say that, how can you be accommodative? How would you carry that, you know, now? And he said he thinks that Gambians are forgiving. He believed that Gambians, the Gambians he know, are forgiven and they will forgive. That's, that was his reply. You know, you know, to give you, to we give want you to account. ask, we wanted to know from you, yes, from 30 exactly. minutes ago, we wanted to know from you mm -hmm. and we couldn't. Mm -hmm. What, how mm -hmm. are you going to cope with the same critics of Jammeh who were critical of Sertijan handling this thing, and now how they are going to be critical of GDC of working with uh, people whose entire wish had been. You cannot discount it, whether you sign it with, with them or not, but we all know yes. their pronouncement is that mm -hmm. they are going to work for the interest of Jammeh. When, 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 when the Aramabaro reached out to the APRC before the split, the same accusations were leveled against him. Yeah. How can you be the, the, the arbiter now? You were the one who's supposed to take actions or, uh, I mean, you know, I mean, implement recommendations that if you reach out to Jammeh's people now, how can you do this? Don't you think the same thing is applicable to Jammeh? Uh, uh, can they? Can they? How can you definitely implement reforms when you are now dining with the people whose subscription, whose wish is for Jammeh not to be accountable to people? Okay. What, what Whether I, you sign no, no, with them or not, no, no. you know that their interest okay. is to have him not accountable. I wanted, I wanted to give you a you scenario. cannot discount I wanted, it. I wanted to give you a scenario to answer the question. Yeah. Like me, the only time that I would take Honorable Nye, example, as Honorable Nye, as somebody very, very honest, mm -hmm. is when I have wronged him. Uh, mm -hmm. And that now, after all that, mm -hmm. he had power to pass judgment on me. Mm -hmm. And when he was passing the judgment, mm -hmm. he does not, in any way whatsoever, mm -hmm carry that wrong that I have made to him. Mm -hmm. But he was only concentrating in what was present, mm -hmm. what was the issue mm -hmm. at hand that he was supposed to pass judgment about. Okay. If you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. Now, the issue here is, mm -hmm. as a political party, yeah. we are concerned about the plights of every Gambia. Mm -hmm. Now, a TRC has been formed, mm -hmm. and the process has been ongoing. Look, since this uh, merger happens, mm -hmm. in fact, my position, what my like, last week I was on a radio and I told the radio person, I, I sat here a couple of times, talk about TRC before the merger. Mm -hmm. And what I've always said, a position mm -hmm. that, I, that I, I, I held for a long time is, mm -hmm. when it comes to TRC, mm -hmm. my perspective is I would want to listen to both sides. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, which sides? No, 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 listen, no, 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 listen, no, 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 what has been a position for me mm -hmm. and my party long before we even went into a merger. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, there's a three RRC set up. Mm -hmm. The process are ongoing. Mm -hmm. When were they supposed to, how many times? For about about two times. But let me say I'll be rejecting. No, no, no. 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 No, no, Whatever is going on. No, but you're but let, me just, listen, listen, let me just let me just put something else very quickly now. Okay, let me just put something else. Yeah. Um, like Honey Munyang talk about the diatribes whatsoever Jamie made have made. Yeah. I even saw example. I'm, I'm so sorry. Today I have a lot to do. It's okay. But I, I, I even saw on his page. Then when the match happened, he calls GDC to civilize. Mm -hmm. Do you see mm -hmm. with the APRC? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, if we are so honest, if we are so honest. Mm -hmm. He had endorsed a I candidate. I want to sympathize with mm. No, make it clear. Do you see? Endorse mm. a candidate. No, 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 make it clear. Mm. Mm. This is what I'm saying. Mm. Mm. Now listen, if we interject, we cannot hear each other. I raise a concern or I sympathize. You know, English is very petty. No, you sympathize. You go to sympathize. You go to sympathize. You go to sympathize. Yes. 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 Okay. To, to break off that. To break off, yeah. That, 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 that's even that's what you use. Mm. Yeah. Sympathize. Yes. That's the word you use. Okay, I didn't hear you. That's the word you use. Yes. Now. 
You see, we all know that APRC and UDP had a long history. Mm -hmm. At the development stage, yeah. he had mentioned that. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm. They have a lot, lot of history. In fact, since this history started even before the birth of these political parties. Mm -hmm. We all know a lot of people that were even in the PPP mm -hmm. came out to form the UDP. Yes. Yeah. To make so they stop the junta from taking up power. Yeah. So it's a long history. Okay. Yes. And it has never been easy mm -hmm. between the leadership of these two political parties. You know that, yeah. Whenever they are sending words to one another. Fact. You know. I don't want to go into Fact. tribal No, that's true. Fact. But, but a time ago, mm -hmm. we have had the leader of the UDP, mm -hmm. they say, mm -hmm. made also a comment mm -hmm. by singling Abdullah Bojan. Mm -hmm. They say, mm -hmm. I don't want to go back to all yeah, the. Yeah, but I think you are missing. No, 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 it's not too wide. It's not too wide. No, I'm narrowing it. You know, but I have to develop. I'm narrowing it. No, 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 no
You, I don't know whether you can recall. Oh, well, yeah, no, no. And this was in December under the party. In December. The right. party banner. So these were crimes against Gambia, not individuals, but collectively. What let's, we let's, let's, let's give and that, that is something okay. we cannot forgive. So let's give the GDC the benefit of the doubt. When they come to power on December 4, Inshallah. suddenly they will reconcile all these things. No problem. Yeah. Well, that's about it in the brunch this afternoon. I'm loving Cham. We seen all the panelists here. John Jai of Tango. Amadou Ka, Deputy President of uh, GDC, um, Mr. Nyanjai, well, commentator, and uh, stroke, according to Mr. Ka, you did this. <laughs> and Lamin Jaite, journal, Gambian journalist based in the United Kingdom. We will be back next week. Until then, goodbye for now. Now even better, enjoy 20% extra data on all Gamsel data bundles. Buy 20 megabytes and get extra 4 megabytes. Buy 50 megabytes and get extra 10 megabytes. Buy 100 megabytes and get extra 20 megabytes. Any amount of Gamsel data bundle you buy, you will receive 20% extra data for free. Dial star 302 star. Data amount hash. Or go to your Yaibor menu and choose your data bundle now. Gamsel data is fast, last longer and very reliable. Gamsil Yai Borom. For all your pastry, bakery and quality food, CK Restaurant is the only place to be. We do for birthdays, weddings, and all related services. We have all kinds of local foods, American, European, and even beyond. Come and have a taste of our local juice Ebe and other services. At CK Restaurant, customer satisfaction is our priority. Planning to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond? Worry no more. Because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479-980-8483-340-9400 or 635-9906. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. Innovarex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, 
and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.